Welcome back to more Worldwide Edition, everyone. So before I continue with the duels, I want to do one quick thing and go into the password, which is right over here. Because there's one particular card that I want to add, and it's not for like my deck or anything, it's actually to unlock a character. So let's see here, it is... One, five, two, five, and then it's nine, seven, zero, three. Okay, nine, seven, zero, three, and there's two world. Okay, so when you get this two world into your trunk, what's going to happen is something rather interesting. Actually, one other thing I should do is, or should I do it? Oh, whatever, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll, I'll improvise, or should I? Well, okay. I'll do this duel first, and then I'll talk about the other booster packs later that I can unlock. Let's go ahead and do this duel. Oh, look at that, it's Ishizu Ishtar. My family has sworn to protect the Millennium items. I must not lose if I am to change our 3,000 year destiny. All right, that's great, Ishizu, you do that. You do that, girl. All right, so, I'll go first. I like going first, you know, I really do. Okay. So let's see, um, Ishizu Ishtar is actually not too, um, at least I don't think she's too difficult, but watch, I could be very wrong in this. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we got. Um, I have Gemini Elf, I'll go ahead and do that. And as always, lay on a trap card, in case something happens, you know? Just in case, pretty much. Okay, so that's swords, nothing special on the turn. That's good. Okay. So I have a graceful tree that I can do. Actually, I actually think I want to do that thing. Let's do it. Okay, so I have Mystical, which I of course need. Um, Let's go ahead and discard one of these 800 attackers. I guess I'll summon Goblin this turn. Dark Hole is useful for pretty much anything. I need Mystical. Magic Solar might be useful too. <sighs> but I want to keep... You know what? It might be stupid, but I'm discarding Solemn Judgment. I am. Okay. Next up is Mystical Space Typhoon. Man, people, as I was saying, I love this freaking game. When it comes to, like, being so much faster, because every single time you activate an effect, that thing doesn't happen, the whole, you know, activate resolve thing that appears twice, which means that the duel is significantly sped up. It really is, and I love that. Okay. I was hoping you would have, like, a 2,000 defender, which is why I attacked with Goblin Attack Force. But you didn't. Oh, well. Luckily I have Magic Cylinder though, so I should be fine. Unless of course you destroy it, which you actually very well could. Okay, um, no, no Torrential Trigger right now, hell no. Okay, let's go ahead and do Magic Cylinder, and you lose the life points. Okay. Oh look, it's Kiku the Ghost Destroyer. Now about this card, I don't know if it's pronounced Kiku or Kaiku. Because I've heard it both ways, so I don't freaking know. Let's see here. Um, so I can't really do much right now. I could summon you, though. Okay. Let's go ahead and enter battle phase now. Luckily, Gemini Elf is more powerful than Hysteric Fairy. So you can do some nice hunter damage there. And then you can attack and activate the effect. So Kaiku or Kiku, I guess I'll just call him Kiku, maybe. Uh, so when he attacks and inflicts life points to your opponent, you are able to remove up to two monster cards from your opponent's graveyard. So let's go ahead and remove them both. It's useful because... Well, as you know, uh, decks that play from the graveyard are actually very useful, so if you can remove them from play, it's actually a pretty beneficial effect. It really is. Okay, so we summon a monster, but no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. Yeah, I'll lose my gaff. And yeah, that's called Gaff. Gaff is a, you know, very short name for that. Hey look, the Linguin Duo. Useful card, but luckily I don't need it to use it because I pretty much got this. I do. All I'm gonna do is attack with Gemini Elf. Okay. Whoops. And then you. And then finally, with you, and the duel's over. Just like that, people. Just like that. It's funny how you can still remove that and the stuff from play. That's really funny. Your power is good. You may become one of many that can grant my wish. Really? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one again. It's a really good pack. Well, not this time. Oh well. 
Okay, so more secret duelists. There's three more actually, wow, okay. So before that, let's go back to the passwords. Okay, so what I want to do now, next up, is um... Because, okay, basically there are a number of packs that you can unlock in this game if you have the right card in your trunk. So what I'm going to do first is use the Blue Eyes White Dragon one. So that's 8963, 8963, 1139. Okay, so that's the Blue Eyes White Dragon. That unlocks a booster pack. Uh, the next one according to this is, let me take a look. So that's Blue Eyes, next up is, I need Exodia, Red Eyes, and then Barrel Dragon. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and search up Exodia really fast. Let's go back into Password, of course. Um, so... Yeah, so again, it's Exodia, Red Eyes, and... Is it really Barrel Dragon? Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, so 3339. And then 6948. Okay. Exodia, the Forbidden One. Alrighty. So again, next up is um the Red Eyes Black Dragon. See, the Red Eyes Black Dragon is one of my like favorite looking cards, like the art style. Too bad it doesn't have great support. I mean, yeah, recently it has, but it's still not a very effective deck according to most people. It's really not. 7467. 7422. And there it is, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Alright, and the final one is Barrel Dragon. So... Barrel Dragon is a card I, I guess you could call like the, um... Like the trump card of Bandit Keith. It's either that or Slot Machine. Although, I mean, Slot Machine in itself is actually a really shitty card. I'm just saying. Slot Machine is a terrible card. Just because... It's 2 Tribute Monster, 2000 Attack, 2300 Defense. It's freaking terrible. Okay. So by doing those four things, we have locked th uh, four more booster packs, just like that. So let's see. I already pulled Joey. Over here. So I have one, two, and three. And Shizu. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this person. Let's do it. It's Pegasus! Alright, this is the guy you unlock when you have a Tomb World in your trunk. Hi, nice to meet you. How have you been? I'm Maximilian Pegasus. Okay. Let's do it. Let's duel you, man. I got this. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. Or draw a card, I should say. Let's go ahead and summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. And let's also set Torrential Tribute just in case we need to use it. You know? Alright, two cards face down. I'm a little bit scared now. Um. I'm gonna do Dark Cole. Most likely I'll have a Magic Jammer, right? I'm assuming. What? Shit. I was hoping it would actually negate it that way. Oh, man. Freaking hell. You know what? I'm just gonna summon a monster. And attack. If I set it off, oh well. Let's do it. That's right. Use that mirror force. Luckily, I didn't use premature burial because I wanted to do it. And have two monsters. But that would have destroyed both and wasted my premature burial. Nimmo Manga. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm doing it. You know why? Because Nimmo Manga, if it goes to the graveyard during battle, its effect activates and is so annoying. It can summon two other Nimmo Mangas in defense mode, and you also gain, or he also gains 1,000 life points every single time one is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle. So thus, he will be gaining 3,000 life points, and I'm not going to be doing any battle damage for quite a while. Are you kidding me? Is Retake revolving around healing life points? Because that's Nimble Manga now, this one. Hmm. Well, okay, whatever. Um, no, I'll just go ahead and end. Oh, another face down? Are you kidding me? Damn it. Let's go ahead and summon Do Name's Dark Witch. So, because Mirror Force is limited in this game, it can't be another one, so I'm safe, even if you have like a negate attack, whatever. Thousand Eyes Idol. Okay. Okay, I also have a bell of destruction. What? Oh, Numinous Healer. Nope, can't do much. Plus a thousand. I could use the Horn of Heaven. I could set it down if I want to. I think I will. 
You never know, right, when you need it. Really now. Okay, we're going to summon Jinzo. That way our traps are gone. And there's Jinzo in effect. I mean, yeah, I can't use my own traps, you know, but whatever. Okay, all done. So what's next? What's next, dude? Come on. Nothing? Really? You passed? Well, okay then. Enter battle phase, and that is the duel, people. That is seriously the duel. Ma uh, Maximilian Pegasus is defeated. Just like that. So there were still two more, you know, green duelists. Two more hidden duelists, plus another one that I have to duel again. Or not again, but like, you'll see what I mean. No, unbelievable. I lost. Well, I guess I'll just have to repay the favor in the next duel. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at these new packs. So, you, you start with all these, all the way into a Blackluster Soldier. This one unlocks by having a blue eyes in your trunk. This one unlocks by having an exodium in your trunk. This one by a red eyes, not a black soul dragon, a red eyes in your trunk. And this one with a barrel dragon in your trunk. This one by winning the, uh, the weekend duel, which I did. And this one by having a win streak of three, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and open a barrel dragon, sure. Let's see. Okay, mostly uh, Metal Raiders cars, from what I've seen. Alright. Okay, question mark. Alright. Yeah, see, so Taya did unlock by doing the weekend duel. So there's you, there's Ishizu, there's Pegasus, another green thingy. Let's do it. It's Weevil. Yo, 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 it looks like I, Weevil Underwood, have found another victim to fall before my insect. Too bad insects are pure shit in this game, Weevil. Insects have no support in this damn game. Like, they're garbage. The best you'll do is, like... Actually, even the Insect Queen is not that good of a card. It's not. And, like, Great Moth is, like, the most overrated piece of shit ever. Like, it seriously is. God. Like, nobody uses that, ever. And perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, although it's incredibly powerful. It's just, like... My God, man. Like, nobody is ever going to summon that card unless the opponent has like the absolute worst deck ever and he can't destroy a monster in six freaking turns, you know? Like, Jesus. Okay, um... I'm going to begin with Race for Charity. Okay, so I probably want to use Fissure. Okay, Delinquent was actually good. I want to have a monster. I guess I'll put that card and then that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and use... Fissure. How many cards are in your hand? Nice, nice. That means I can use Delinquent Duo. Go ahead and send two. There we go. And then... I guess I'll summon Harpy's Brother. I'm not gonna attack... It, like, I'm not gonna... I mean... Special Summon a Monster. Yeah, that's why. Okay, luckily you're down to only one card, though. So, I'm good. I have Premature Burial for a monster next turn. I have Dark Hole in case you draw anything... Overpowered, which you didn't. But I think what I'm gonna do in this uh, turn is use Dark Hole. There's a reason why. Even though I was just criticizing Weevil, you'll know that it says that his cards are actually they have pretty good effects. Look at that Maneater Bug. Okay, that was Neo Worm, but whatever. He has Maneater Bugs. I think Four Star Lady Big of Doom. Basically, cards that can wipe you out. You know, flip effect monsters that are annoying. So just be careful about that, which is why I did Dark Hole, because I do not want to deal with the Freedom Clip effect. I don't. Let's put an attack. Bam! There we go. That puts you at 4,700 life points. Pretty cool. Defense mode? Alright, I see. Ooh, Horn of Heaven. Okay, um... Sure, I guess I'll set it, why not, right? Let's go ahead and enter the battle phase once again and attack this freaking defense mode. Whatever it is. Oh, shoot, not that card. Oh, wait, no, but... Oh, yeah, if you destroy it, it doesn't work, I think. You have to flip it manually. I mean, I don't know if that's a glitch or if that really is how it works. I don't know. Okay, so... 
I'm not having any luck with this. Any monsters. I need additional monsters enough to start dealing some freaking damage. And then he also keeps getting his- oh my god. Well then, he's going to have, um, infinite monsters now with that Sinister Serpent. Which is why it was a banned card. Okay, he set in a Sinister Serpent down again. I saw it. Oh my god, man, I'm drawing- I don't need spell destruction right now, people. I don't. Jeez. This is just giving him turns. Because I'm not drawing anything that I need. I mean, the good news is that, you know, if he sets down a trap card and I'm good to destroy it. Look at that, now he has four cards in this. Okay, that wasn't Sinister Serpent. Oh. My God. Again, I like, please draw a freaking monster, man. Like, I'm just saying, I just need one damn monster. Genigumo, okay. Please. Like, something amazing, come on. Pot agree. Um. You know what? I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care that I'm paying 3,100 life points for that. Um, you are in a perfect position where I want you, with like pretty much no good cards. All you're doing is setting your damn Sinister Serpent every. Really? Really? Because really. Oh my god, people, this is ridiculous. What the hell kind of shuffling is this? AI, please shuffle my deck better. I'm just saying, please. Like, you can't put like freaking eight spells in a row. Eight spells or traps. Like, what the heck? Okay, that was not Sinister Serpent, so I'm afraid now. Okay, thank you. I mean, this will work. Jeez. Well, finally. I'm getting risk with already now. Come on. Give me something good. Okay. Go ahead and discard that. Discard Heavy Storm. I want some good monsters. Give me your freaking thing. Change your part. That's Korogashi. Okay. Let's flip it. Also, what the hell keeps... Oh, freaking parallel order, huh? Gear free. Okay. And let's attack. Although, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough damage. To beat you this damn turn. I mean, that was seriously some of the worst deck shuffling I've ever seen, man. Like, in my 17 years of play- I'm just kidding, though. It's not 17 years of play. You, you, are you kidding me? I'm freaking 23, man. And I, I played the actual physical card game from around, I would say, maybe around... I want to say when I was 10? From around when I was 10 to, to 14. And, and then I went back into it when I was 16, for like a little bit, and I stopped. So I think I played for about 5 years total, you know? But yeah, alright, so... Not much I can do except summon, of course. And I just have to like, pray that uh, that monster is not a um, 4-star Lady Pick of Doom, because if it is, I'm pretty much screwed. At least for this turn. Alright. Kill it. Kill the monster. Okay, good. It's only Sinister Serpent. Although that card is overpowered. Not in this particular situation. Yeah, I think Sinister Serpent was actually uh, nerfed. Like, they actually... Konami actually went back into the card and changed its effect, I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but... I'm pretty sure that I'm right with that. And, like, that's weird, you know, because, like... What the heck? Like, you wouldn't really imagine somebody doing that, you know, like, Konami changing the effect of cards. Okay, so... There's only you. Is it Rex Raptor? Who else am I missing? Yeah, it was you. Okay. I think that's it, actually. But yeah, Rex Raptor with this freaking dino deck, you know? So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and try to win this battle much faster. Because, like, that was pathetic, you know? Last time, it really was. Okay. Fissure, Mystical Space Typhoon. Um, let's go ahead and summon Giant Red Sea Snake. And attack. Okay, Crawling Dragon 2. And let's go ahead and go to Main Phase 2. And set down Bell Destruction. Right, go ahead. What you got? What you got for me, man? 
Oh, it's polymerization. Oh my god, it's Bronchial Radius. Luckily, I got Spawn Destruction. That was cool, though. I mean, you did just waste three cards in your freaking hand. Polymerization and two monsters. And now... Oh yeah, it is a special summon, though, so you can summon another monster, which sucks. God damn it. I was like, oh, I guess I'm free attacks, and then... No, I don't, actually. I don't. How many, um... Cards do you have left in your hand? Only two, okay. I see. I'm in a good position, then. I'm in a very good position. Stone Armadiller. Awesome. Okay, that's done. Alright, more defense mode. And not really much I can do. Fissure is not gonna help. Nope. Nothing's gonna help here. All I can do is attack. Okay, so this will put you at 300 light points, which is really good. Very close, people. I'm so close. Oh, shoot. Okay, luckily I got Mystical. Aha, I, I win. I win. That is not going to save you, dude. You know why? Because I have Mystical Space Typhoon, which has the bar to destroy one score top card, and that's pretty much it. Game, set, and match. Okay. So I believe with that victory, we have dueled everybody. Everybody necessary. Except one more dude that I have to unlock, which... It's the most ridiculous way ever to unlock a freaking character, but it's sad but true, you know? Yeah, let me just see. Oh look, it's the weekend duel, right? Championship, whatever. I'm not gonna be doing it though. Oh wait, no, another another freaking person. Oh, well that's cool, I guess. Sure, let's duel you instead of the other person. What am I missing then? Oh, you! Freaking Truesdale, that's right! Okay. Let's duel. He will be the last duelist, so I believe this guy uses Exodia? I don't know if he does in this game. I know in World Championship Tournament 2004, which is the Game Boy Advance game that came out after this one, he does, but I don't know if in this one. Okay, let's go ahead and summon Gear Free the Iron Knight. Let's also set a Magic Cylinder down, and let's activate Delinquent Duo. It'll cost 1,000 life points, but it is very well worth it. Trample and Snake Head. Let's see. Monster Reborn, that's whatever. Waste your cards, man. Waste them. Okay, so I can do Snatch Steel. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing Snatch Steel. Give, give me that freaking card. Okay, attack mode. That way I'm not going to feel too terrible if I, um... Oh! Okay, whatever, that's, that's fine. That's okay. Attack with Gear Freed. Okay. Down to 6,500 life points. Pretty good. You know, one attack already. Now he is going to gain a thousand life points because of Snatch Steel, but... Whatever, it's well worth it. Okay, change of heart, ooh. I could do some serious damage, man. I'm just saying. Let's do it. Let's just change of heart. Flip you. Summon Gas. Set that. Enter battle phase. And you are in for a huge will of hurt, dude. Like, seriously, you are. It's not gonna be game. But if you do choose to attack me, because of my Gaff being in defense mode, I have Magic Cylinder for you, so you're screwed either way. Unless, of course, you destroy it, but then again, I have Soul and Judgment to negate it, so I I'm set either way. Because Soul and Judgment takes care of anything in the game, like almost anything. Oh, damn it. I forgot about Snatch Steel. Giving you a thousand life points, which means it's not over. It's not. You're only losing 1200. But now it's over. Overkill. Just going to do it. <laughs> Okay, time for battle phase. Okay. There we go. Truesdell is down. 
Now why would you pick on an old man like that? It wouldn't hurt to pull your punches, you know? Oh, whatever. Whatever, I'm gonna get, um... I'm just gonna go with Barrel Dragon again. Okay, whatever. Shield and Sword is pretty useful sometimes. So is that it? Yes it is. So there's Truesdale. These two, so I believe I dueled everybody except um, Mokuba, who I will be dueling, I guess, in the next episode, but also... Um... Like, I don't know, I'm not really sure what's gonna be happening next, but we'll see. I mean, it might be like a long time for the next episode, because I'm gonna have to like, do some off-screen dueling, just a little bit. Until the time comes, until the freaking rare hunters come along. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate that very much, thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.